You can see like my skin is getting a little red, but that's okay. One side, so if you see this side, see that side, I feel like this side already looks so much better. Like my skin looks livelier. I guess I'm not a bleeder. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, so we're gonna go to the chin. And put some serum on my chin. We're gonna get a little bit under here too. And let's add more serum to that. like I'm shaving. By the way, my face 
does feel like it's getting hot and heated, but it's only normal because I'm putting little microscopic tears in my skin so that I see my skin's improvement. The reason why I decided to do this is because I did get my face threaded by a student of mine. And to be honest, I've never fully threaded my face before. I've only threaded like my eyebrows and my upper lip, okay? And I think like a little bit of my chin too, but I've never fully done like everything. But this was like a couple of months back. But the only thing is, when I threaded it, I broke out like crazy, okay? And I'm not someone who breaks out like that. Like, I don't break out like, like insanely. So I was really shocked that my skin was doing that and the breakouts didn't leave. Like, it literally stayed for such a long time. So I was like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? Like, I need to get rid of this. So I was like, I'm gonna definitely do the microneedling for those little acne marks that showed up. Because it was so annoying. So yeah, so because of that, this was definitely my go-to for today. And I was like, would I ever throw my whole face again? <laughs> Not in a million years, okay? Just where I originally would thread, which is like my upper lip, my chin, and my eyebrows. But to be honest, I really only like to thread my eyebrows. So I won't be doing that again. And I'm not saying that she didn't do it right. She's an amazing student of mine, okay? Absolutely amazing. It's just, it wasn't for me. It's not for my skin. Okay, she's not. feel like my skin is looking so much better right now. Sometimes people don't think that things can look different on the first try, but it does. And with the serum, I decided to choose this one because I was like, I feel like my skin needed collagen. It needed some like love and care. So that's why I decided to go with this one. Okay. We're gonna do mm -hmm. upper lip, my nose. So these are sensitive spots, you guys. So I'm gonna turn it now. I'm gonna go to like let's see 
sure if you see me looking up it's because people are writing me <laughs> for appointments and stuff like that and asking questions about courses so I find like as I got older I started getting like a little bit of hyperpigmentation where I smile a lot and honestly like a long time ago I find I would smile very often or laugh a lot and I still do I still laugh a lot I find but now I'm like I mean I want them nasal labi lines I do not <laughs> so I want to like really make sure I don't get those I'm gonna let's go to the nose Whoosh! Ah! <laughs> let's jump on that let's jump let's jump Let's see my face looks so weird. I used to have a piercing here. I probably saw that hole, but <laughs> it's so funny because it makes me want to sneeze. Oh my god! It's like you just want to sneeze. Okay, I'm getting a little tear. <sighs> but my nose a lot of black. <laughs> it feels so funny. It makes me want to like just sneeze right now. Oh my god. Oh. It's like it's just hitting my sinuses. Oh wow. Oh. Let's get the tip. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna put some serum again <laughs> in those spots. Oh my god. Anyway, when, when you're at home, you don't need to use as much product as me. Like, I'm just putting it on because I'm like, I'm gonna replenish my skin, okay? All right. So we're gonna do the forehead so i find my skin looks so good right now like it just looks like really nice all right we're gonna do my forehead and i'm also gonna keep it at the low level because the skin on the forehead is just like so thin and a little bit on my temples too so i'm gonna get my temples in between my eyebrows so i don't have furrows but we're still gonna treat it I just find like on my forehead I have like from expression like I have that fine line right there I'm sure you guys can see that and over time it just started doing that jump 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 and we're gonna spin back and forth I'm sure some of you back at home are like, I would never do this to myself. Yeah. Never say never. <laughs> never say never. And you know what I love is that my skin is getting red because of the heat, but it's also producing collagen and elastin at the same time. So that's why it's such an amazing treatment to get. Mm. 
if you guys can even just see this side of my face compared to what I just did, like you can already see an improvement. Look at that, look at that. I'm actually going a lot harder on my forehead, like I'm putting pressure. I worry a lot, so I think that's why my fine line is like, I worry quite often. <laughs> I'm a worrier. <laughs> worrier and a worrier. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more serum again. But you guys, my skin feels amazing, okay? So a little bit more serum, just so I can add it to my face like that. Right on the forehead again. And to be honest, that fiery feeling kind of went down. Like, it's, I don't feel it as much. Even though my face still feels red. I mean, still looks red. But. All is good in the hood. So you guys leave comment if you would ever do this to yourself. Feels like little scratches, like okay. So, as you can see, like I find my skin looks even more revived than when I first started talking with you guys. And I'm gonna put a little bit more serum. And also, I would have done like radio frequency. Or some sort of microcurrent while doing this too to myself since it's, it's more like a basic procedure that I'm doing to myself for the microneedling and I would have done more but because of the breastfeeding I didn't want to take the chance with putting like any microcurrents or anything electric I'm gonna rinse my face after all of that mm -hmm. I thought I was gonna bleed, like some of my clients, but I did not bleed. Okay, 
my skin though feels so good. I'm just get my eyes too anyway. So my skin looks a little bit red, but not that bad of a red. So let me just ooh. Let me get that <laughs> so i'm also going to put a mask over this and i want more collagen okay i just want collagen okay you guys like i feel like because my skin is more dry i just don't want to be dealing with wrinkles and all that so i'm going to be putting a collagen mask so i have my herbal collagen mask all right, so we're gonna be using this one today. Going in with a stick, a mask brush, and just go over my skin everywhere. And also, it's, it just feels nice and cooling to my skin, so we're gonna do it like that, and it smells so good. It just smells like these Really nice fragrant herbs. Also, you guys, leave in the comment section and tell me what else you would like to see from what I offer. Or things that you want to see, things that are fun, whatever. No? Let me know what you guys are looking forward to seeing. Looking forward to seeing. So I'm going to let this seep in, just drink it up. My skin needs some collagen, some, some herbs. I still have like that burning feeling on my forehead, but like the rest of my face is not like that bad. And I think it's because I just finished doing my forehead. So I'm just feeling it. But like the majority of my face, like the, that sensitivity has actually gone down. Like I don't feel it as much. So I'm really happy about that. So right now, like I'm just going to let this seep in and... You know, show you guys the rest. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes for the mask, and I'm gonna remove it now, but I'm gonna add a little bit of water just to manipulate it. That feels so good. with my sponges once again I don't know if you guys see my skin but like wow okay wow so I'm gonna pick the toner again massage that in and this time I'm gonna actually put the collagen fiber serum give myself some nice fiber and collagen and we're gonna just bring that everywhere this smells so good Okay. And 
I'm gonna put my SPF, my Solar Moisture Cream SPF. Even though it is, there's a little bit of light outside, but you guys, SPF is so important. Sunscreen is so important to put every single day. Every single day, okay? Every single day, <laughs> right? I have to repeat that because some people are like, every day? Yes, every single day, all right? And you always want to protect your skin from the sun, you guys. So I want to put some SPF, 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 SPF. I'm going to massage this bad boy in. It smells so good. skin some love and you know what I'm also gonna put a little bit of eye cream oh yeah and this one is the cucumber eye cream that I have it's really good for under eye dark circles and for puffiness under eye puffiness so I'm gonna put some of that yet. All goody. I'm gonna put some a little bit on top of my eyelids too. <laughs> Cause then, you know, eyelids begin wrinkly for some people. So I wanna just take care of that. So you guys, the treatment is done. So tell me what you guys think of my skin now after the microneedling. Okay. So you see this side, you see the front, and you see on this side. So, tell me what you guys think. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Just watching me doing micro needling on myself, you know. Honestly, like, I'm amazed with the results for me. But tell me what you guys think. And I'm going to update you guys, um, hopefully tomorrow or the day after or whatever just to show you how my skin reacted after the microneedling so that you can see like the results like that okay but this is the end result from today you guys day one all right so thank you so much for watching again you guys and have a good one <laughs>